Hello, everyone. We are going live. I'm getting everything together. I feel like a hot mess today, <laughs> and uh, rightly so, because I just launched Downcast, and it is going really well. Other than, <laughs> I'm gonna apologize right now to everybody who's on the mailing list. There was a little bit of a hiccup with the link that I sent you. That is all corrected now. So if you haven't yet checked your email you can do so now and just ignore i said there was ever a hiccup uh because it'll it'll work just fine now uh so that that's done um i don't know why like crowdfunding can be i don't know i just feel throttled right now <laughs> it's like it's like an adrenaline rush um which is nice but it's also i know i'm going to be exhausted it'll probably take i don't know it'll, it'll be late tonight i'll get i'll just crash i'll be so tired um, so yeah, I got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff I want to talk about. Um, first I wanted to update you, you all, if you're not, especially if you're not on Twitter. Um, I did that little drawing. I've decided I want to, I do want to get better with art. And so, yeah, let me show you what I did. There we go. <laughs> it's finally finished. There's the character Joanne from Downcast. I want to change some things with the inking and stuff, but it was a lot of fun um, just to, I don't know. It feels like, like it's, it's a project that I've been developing for quite a while. And um, I started out drawing it myself. And so I don't know. I just thought I want to do another picture. So there's a, there's a big one. Um, I like it. All right. How to break into comics in 2019. That's the topic of this because this has been, this has been sort of an ongoing thing for me, but I know for a lot of you, I talk to a lot of people, uh, you want to break into comics. That's always been a dream for mine, uh, for me. And it's hard to do, especially as the industry is, as, as it exists. Uh, Papa Kinsu, welcome. Thank you. I'm glad it, uh, he says, looking good. Yeah, um, I want to practice some more. I, I might do Inktober when that comes around. <laughs> oh, I'm interrupting Master's live stream. I did not know that. Um, well, I launched my campaign and I took the day off work so I could do this live stream. So, um, you know, be even better. Nasser should come on my. I've never actually talked to Nasser face to face, but um, that would be kind of fun to have him on. We could talk talk about writing. Uh, Justin Kelly, aka Pokemac, says take Heather Antos. 500 kickstarter class to break into comics oh boy oh man gateway to comics says he's stuck at work yeah i sent him the link i no obligation i know it's the middle of the day i'm the weirdo that took off work today but i'm glad that i did <laughs> because it like you, you look at crowdfunding campaigns and you think you just launch it and you know move on with your day that's not really how it works it's answering emails constantly and that's why i wanted to start streaming an hour ago couldn't get to it till now because i had a few hiccups with the mailing list like i mentioned that's all corrected had to email answer a lot of emails uh and now now we're finally live so uh nella possessed welcome great to see her aaron welcome hey clint having trouble backing the secret perk uh oh uh did you try refreshing it as long as you can see it i know it's been working for a lot of people uh you're definitely on the mailing list I'm not sure. Yeah, if you can see it, even maybe send me an email. We can talk to. I'm sweetcastclint at gmail.com. If you have questions, we can talk for sure. Um, looking forward to Downcast. It is live right now. Right now it is live. Um, if the secret link isn't working, that was the problem that we had from before. Um, it should be working now. So you would go back into or just refresh the page or go back into the your email and open it up again it should be working i've had at least 17 people uh back it so far uh, if you are having problems let me know it's sweetcastclint at gmail.com i didn't realize it would be such a hassle um they make it sound easy for indiegogo but there was yeah, a few few hassles so i think that they're worked out now um Okay, cast the gamer. Hey, sweet cast. I got an email, a secret perk, and it said you had 95 spots. When I clicked, it had three backers and it said not available. Yeah, that was the problem we were having. 
that should be corrected now. So you should be able to go back to that same link or just refresh the page, like I was saying. I'm gonna have to explain this a lot, so I really apologize. This is not your fault, it's my fault. Uh, so yeah, you should be able to get it. If you aren't getting it, if it's not working, shoot me an email, sweetcastclint at gmail.com, and I will make sure that you do get it. Because uh, 95 should be plenty. Um, it's not gonna run out for a little while anyway. That should be okay. Um, Aldius on the farm, welcome. Berserker Pride, yes, 49 backers. I wanna look at the campaign. That's so exciting. It's crazy to see it just growing. We're gonna hit 2000 by the end of the stream, I am sure. Um, yeah, Gonzo the Great said back and excited for this uh, as well. Uh, a well thought out project, sorry. Uh, here's to 20,000, yeah. Um, at the rate that we're going, I mean, I think we're used to seeing, we're used to seeing extraordinarily amazing campaigns, like when Cyberfrog launches and he gets 10K and I don't know how fast it is, an hour or something like that. Um, that's insane. That's that's crazy. What we've done here, though, to put it in context for Downcast, last I checked, we were 25% funded um, in under two hours. That's actually amazing. Like we've, this campaign has been really, really doing quite well. Um, oh, you now linked it to Nasser. Awesome. That'd be great. Yeah. So, so really this campaign has started off really, really well. Um, yeah. Scott says sweet casting after work or something. No, I took the day off for this launch. Um, there's way too much going on. Uh, so we're going to look at the campaign. I wanted to, I was talking to Nacho, who is the artist on downcast. Uh, last night, quite a bit. Uh, we were talk, you know, talking on email, and we talked today just a little bit. And uh, yeah, the the stream is running behind. Um, so I wanted to introduce you to him a little bit. I want to show you the campaign, and really breaking into comics. Um, it's crazy because I have been trying. Let me show you some stuff here. So I've been writing for a while. <laughs> um, I published, and these are novels. I published my first book, The Cause back in 2011 and it had some problems. It actually sold really well though, the, the digital version. I actually made it onto Amazon's bestseller list. I was number 37 in my genre, which was like dystopian, I guess. So that was a pretty big deal. I sold 11,000 copies of this book, over 11,000. Um, that, was, that was awesome, it was a good feeling. Um, now every once in a while I get roy royalties and I just actually got royalties yesterday and it was three dollars <laughs> So that was awesome. I published another book called all for Owen and I felt much more confident about it This is one that if you join the mailing list you got it for free um, Hello, Eric Weathers uh, Papa Kinsu. Hello uh, Senjamin Bisco welcome did you buy enough coffee for all the streams you're going to do? Yeah, man, I don't drink coffee, but I'm, uh, I don't know, I like Mountain Dew, I guess. That's even, it's terrible for you, but yeah, here we go. <laughs> We're gonna be on lots of streams. Um, there's my new cover, all for Owen. This book did not sell as well, but it's just a better book all around. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't sell so well. Um, I tried it so many times so many times to break into comics different ways I would submit to image comics that was my number one goal I wanted to get into image um, that was good for me because I learned how to do comics and I just did short stories that was good um, I also let's see uh, wow I'm like totally drawing a blank sorry guys I'm like seriously thralled right now um, uh, the the is it four thousand AD for for the the British uh, the guys that do Judge Dread they have um, they have an anthology series where you can submit a short story and and get in and that's another way so that was one of my goals I remember um, after working on it for a while to get into comics I realized that I was turning thirty this was three years ago I was about to turn thirty so I was twenty nine about to turn thirty. And I kind of had this panic attack that I want to get into comics and I still have not. I haven't done it. It's been, it was just been so difficult. 
um, I'd gotten a lot better at writing. I'd gotten better at working with artists, all that kind of process. But actually getting in and getting readers to read my book, it just wasn't happening. Um, so I made it a goal that I was going to do it. Um, and it, every, it still just seemed impossible to do. Then I discovered Comicsgate, and this has changed everything. It really has. 2000 AD. Thank you very much. Future so shocks. That's exactly it. Um, I'm probably going to be a little scatterbrained all day today. Uh, Angram, hello. Eric Weathers, always great to see you. And Eric Weathers did the lettering on this book, and I'm quite pleased with it. It looks great. Um, it's nice and readable. That's a pet peeve of mine is good lettering. And so I knew I should not do it myself. <laughs> That's something I learned. Uh, Chief of Comics, welcome. Great to see you. Guys, um, let's look at the campaign. I'm going to share my screen. Let's look at the campaign and we'll, we'll share some more stuff with you. Um, okay, hold on. I've got it opened up on this browser. There we go. Because, yeah, I wanted to see like what you see. It kind of annoys me that it has all the tools. If, if you're running a campaign on the left-hand side, it has a whole list of tools so you can add tiers and look at your backers and answer questions and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot. So I wanted to spare you that. So right now, 1870, let me refresh this. It's been, it's been a little while. And we just broke 2,000. There we go. Just like that. 30% funded. That is insane. <laughs> wow. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Um, this is, this is crazy. This really is an amazing start for a campaign. Um, it has exceeded my expectations already because we're only, we're not even very far into this. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, uh, thank you everyone. Um, yeah, this, this would not have been possible if keep continuing to submit to image comics, hoping that they would look, just look at my submission. Um, man, that's not, you're not going to do it. Um, but in comics gate, we have this cool network of people that are into comics, uh, helping each other out. You're able to crowdfund a comic and it really feels like, feels like a group achievement. Um, I can't even tell you guys I'm over the moon already. This is so cool. Um, yeah, very cool. All right, so let me uh, fill you guys all in. And um, sorry, I've got a million things up. Let's let's talk about the artist. This is Nacho. We we lovingly call him Nacho Lazaro. His name is Ignacio Lazaro, and he has done some really cool stuff. So I did not know this about him. I I asked him to send me a bio so that I could share a little bit more about him. He's younger than I am. He's uh he's in getting into comics. So I think he's, what was he 23? I want to say he's 23. Sorry, sorry, Nacho, I, for, I forgot. It doesn't matter. The man is a professional. Um, it has been such a pleasure working with him on, on these pages. Um, he's been so professional. He does exactly what he says he's going to do. Um, he goes, he's really gone above and beyond. So this is his tumblr site i know a lot of you hate tumblr but this it's just his portfolio really and he's got a lot of really cool artwork love seeing pages from you know here's the that panel this is so far my favorite panel from downcast it is so cool the guy breaking through the window there's the cover um and i imagine there's going to be more that'll that'll show up here uh, which will be awesome so this character here is from a book that he I guess it's his second publication, if I'm if I remember correctly, this is from a book called Manta, and it looks really cool. Um, I haven't read the whole thing, and I would like to get a copy of it because it just looks cool. It's something that really drew me to him, and I'm excited for Downcast as we get into some of the pages where it's not just daytime lighting. We're actually going to get some moody, you know, moody lighting, and he does such a good job as we look through his portfolio. You can see. When he does moody lighting, it is it's just beautiful. So, uh, so he actually went to architecture school, and that that's a bonus, especially for buildings. Um, and in Downcast, we have some really interesting buildings. Um, so he really is, I think, the best artist for this project. And that was why, you know, I started off with a different artist, had to let him go. Things weren't working out, but when it came to Nacho. 
he just he had what it took. I like liked his style. I got excited when I saw his portfolio because he is such a good storyteller. And I really wanted this book. See, there's some of that moody lighting I was talking about. Look how cool that is. Yeah, I wanted storytelling to be the number one priority for this book. I wanted I want to make a mark as far as the story goes. And I think um, Nacho has already done that. So if you look at the campaign, and it is, by the way, in the description below, um, I would, there's the first five pages there, they're fully lettered. And I would suggest, you know, especially, especially if you're on the fence, just read it. And if you want to keep reading, that might be a good sign uh, that you should back it. Um, so yeah, really cool car here too. Again, he gets the, the moody lighting. Um, yeah, very cool. I like that, that picture from that's Tyler, right? From uh, fight club. Really cool stuff. So Nacho has been great to work with. He's the artist um, on Downcast. He's done the cover and he's doing all of the interior pages. And uh, yeah, cannot tell you how excited I am about it. It's uh, it's going to be awesome. So yeah, that that's great. Let's um, let's let's look through the campaign. Actually, I'm gonna just jump back. And actually, I don't want to. Sorry, guys. I'm seriously scatterbrained. I'm. <laughs> Let's uh let's pop your chat out so we can talk too. There we go. And we'll get you up. And there's the chat. Okay. Um very cool. Digital perk, please. I thought about the digital. Um we could do digital. Um John Malin told me not to. <laughs> <laughs> I I won't I'm not gonna blame it on it. he said it's up to me but um I don't know I've I've got to think about it there are definitely part of the thing is when you're crowdfunding a comic um it is you're raising funds in order to to make something and so the digital is nice I don't know I've got I've got to think about it I guess um I will I'll think about it some more um Wolf Dog says, looks great. Backed it when I got home from work. Thank you so much for backing it. Um, yeah, so the campaign is only, I heard when I saw that going around, the campaign is only up open for 31 days, and that is going to end on the 2nd, May 2nd. Um, I can absolutely open it in an in-demand store. You'll notice also that I have a fixed goal here. It's not a flexible goal like you see often. And frankly, that's because I actually do need $7,000. I can't do it with less. So if I have um, $5,000, if that's what I ended up getting, I don't want to take your money and then not be able to give you a book. I would just be end, end up refunding everything. So I did the fixed goal because we have to get $7,000. Um, at this rate, I have no doubt we're, gonna, we're going to destroy that goal uh, pretty quickly. Um, we'll destroy it. And then we're going to jump up to and whatever we get to throughout the the time. And then I'll probably open up for in-demand store. And depending on uh, how things sell, I'll probably add more perks just to, you know, just so to keep things fresh, I guess. Yeah, just back. Jason Ziegler, thank you very much. Um, yeah, the no digital. Yeah, don't do it. Maybe later when you have a second book. It's hard, guys, because this is this part of the problem okay if you sell a digital copy then guaranteed you you're going to get somebody that hates comics gate they get it and they just they post it everywhere so it's free for everyone they pirate it um so and i definitely wouldn't want to give the digital out before yeah danny agent like you said um do it after fulfillment yeah that that is definitely a possibility too I, so i will consider it uh, a little bit more. Um, I, I will definitely consider it, especially for foreign backers. I understand that. Uh, Vassin, $35 for books, $25 for shipping, no digital is to support the US Postal Service. <laughs> yeah, I don't, um, I hate shipping, guys, but these are the realities of just shipping lots of books. That's, you know, that, that's how it goes. So I will look into digital. Um, I'll, I'll look into it a little bit more. Um, I'm just kind of going off of some of the advice that I got from John Malin and, and some others as well. So, um, 
the idea that you can do it on a three thousand dollar budget is absolute nonsense exactly uh to really do this book and this is not this is not saddle saddle excuse me saddle stitched this book is going to be perfect bound i believe it is it's like the square like you're actually going to get a spine like a graphic novel um and i'm hoping that we can even we can get it so that it's um um you know we can actually make it reach some stretch goals and make it a longer book because i'd prefer it to actually be 52 pages uh but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there but you know it looks like we're going to cross it sooner than i had expected um vasin says what if the core audience won't be satisfied with digital and the pirated copies will also work as an advertisement to buy the physical i have heard that before i actually heard uh neil gaiman he said that people pirate his books a lot and he's actually happy with it because it ends up getting him more readers in the in the big picture um i think it's um you know that, that's a valid argument it is for sure um i just the main thing here is to get a book printed and so that's that's the focus i might add digital though i i do think you make a compelling argument uh Vilned says 18 us for canada shipping is reasonable compared to other indiegogos yeah another thing you'll notice is i did not make everyone shipping higher i made the shipping so that it would be um basically it, it would make sense so it's six dollars shipping domestic 18 dollars for canada and 25 dollars everywhere else and so i'm sorry if you live everywhere else that that's a good reason to do digital for sure i agree um, but as for shipping goes it's just it, it gets expensive i've heard horror stories too i don't want to lose my house <laughs> you know i just want to make a comic book um sweetcast have you joined comics reform yet um yeah man you told me about that i know on a, on a, a previous live stream and i forgot to look into it so i still need to um i really do though because it did sound interesting Pixel Trader says, I know there's a new digital fulfillment service about to be stood up in support of indie creators. Oh, that would be interesting, especially if there was a way to just protect, like instead of just a straight up PDF. I don't know though, like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I need to think about it more. You guys let me know what you think about digital um, and I wanna do what I can. Uh, Danny Agent says, sweet cast, pirates, hardly buy illegal copies. It's all hogwash. Yeah, I don't know. You see, the, though, this is the debate I'm caught in. <laughs> I'm just trying to make a comic book. Um, so, yeah, it's hard. I'll keep, I'll keep thinking about it. Um, all right, let's look at... Oh, sorry, I want to get you, Anne Graham. Uh, Neil is not wrong. I first found Sandman pirated, and now I want to buy the physical because it's wonderful, and I want to support things I love. Yep, yep. You guys see, though. You see, though, I'm kind of caught in the middle. I'm like, I don't know what the right thing to do is. I just I want to want to get this book made. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know your thoughts for sure because I am interested in knowing them. Okay, so let's look at the campaign and we'll I'll show you what we got. 30% funded already. Did you know there's a statistic if you hit 30% within the first like week, I think it is, then your chances of getting funded are really, really high. The fact that we hit 30% in the first like less than three hours, that's a, that's a big deal. This is this is really a great start. Okay, so we have the signed copy, which is it's featuring Nacho Lazaro's artwork for the cover. Love this cover. The really cool thing about it is that you get to see the city and you can see his background and architecture coming up. I will say from his bio, he said that his father and his brother were really into uh, graphics and design, and that's kind of what pushed him into it. And he left architecture school after two years so that he could do comics full time. And he's been crushing it. I am going to keep my eye on him because he's going places. So tier number two, this is $25. We have both covers. And this is this uh, variant cover here is featuring Matthew Weldon on the line art. I really like his art a lot. He's also happens to be a really, really nice guy. Um, I would love to, I'm just going to put this out there. I'd love to work in the future on a, on a book with him. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Um, and the colors are done by Derek Dow. He's also known as Art Monkey. Um, he, you can look up his stuff on DeviantArt. 
he's a really good colorist. Not only that, but he also has an incredibly unique style. Um, when I <laughs> when I first uh, saw his stuff, it really stood out to me. Um, I asked him to to color the cover, and he actually had time to do it, which is one of the problems I had is that there weren't a lot of colorists available to do uh, work in Comicsgate. They're really busy. Um, I told him about Comicsgate. He's like, yeah, I don't care, man. Let's do this. So um, yeah, he colored it, and I, I showed it to Matthew Weldon, and the first thing he said was, who did that art monkey? I was like, how did you know that's exactly who did it? It's because he has such a distinct style. Um, so I love the color of it for sure. Like the overall look really cool. Um, and you know, of course, uh, Matthew Weldon's line art and pairing that up with the blue cover. I just think both covers look so cool. Okay. Next one. This is basically the, the works you get one of everything. So you have signed copy of cover A, signed copy cover B, and then you get this six by nine limited print that's done by Chaz Wagamont. And Chaz is an artistic genius. I was really lucky to be able to get him to do it, um, mainly because I actually know him from high school. We played in a band together, believe it or not. Um, he's always been a good artist and he owns, uh, or he works with a company, I'm not sure. I, I think he's an owner or part owner of a, a company that does like digital animation things like that and they've had some really big clients like disney uh so yeah he's he's legit professional and he does illustration much less than animation and concept art i asked him to do a cover and he far and away exceeded my expectations because this painterly style is just beautiful uh, so I was really, really grateful to be able to snag that. This is a limited print, so there's only going to be 350 total of these done. You might not see 350 right off the bat here, um, but throughout the campaign, there will only be 350 of these printed, and they are selling pretty fast. So that, yeah, that's pretty great. All right, so that's the 6x9. Okay, here's the collector's bundle. For those of you, I know, I realize this doesn't solve the... The digital copy problem. I actually made made one of these for uh, digital, one of these like backing tiers, and then I ended up taking it down. I could I could put it back up again. Um, I will think about it. Uh, but this one does come with the PDF. That's what I initially had. This is for collectors, so you get two signed cover A, two kinds of signed cover B. You get the one limited print still here, and then you get the PDF and. Yeah, so that's everything. And these are, I, I imagined the people that want to buy extra books and turn around and sell them on eBay later, uh, this is probably for you. That way you get extra copies, you can sell them, keep your pristine copies and, or whatever, you know, maybe you want to give them out. It's still all over, all around. It's a good deal uh, compared to lower tiers. So that that's a good deal. All right, last but not least, this is that original cover by Matthew Weldon. And I included a copy of cover B because it matches, uh, which, you know, it makes sense to me that you'd want both the, the original and, and the, you know, the comic that looks like it. So it's really cool. I have the original sitting here with me right now. I'll probably show it to you because why not? Oh, and we sold out of getting drawn into the book. That is, wow. Thanks guys, that's so awesome. That sold out so fast, I'm surprised. So <laughs> Nacho will actually draw you into the book. You are going to be an extra, that's so cool. Uh, you'll, you'll have a cameo appearance in, in the comic book. Wow, that sold out really quickly. Thank you everyone. Um, yeah, let me show you the original, well, let's, let's refresh this, why not? Let's do it for fun. Oh, 2,400, wow, that's awesome. 34% 34, 34 funded. We're at 2435 right now. That's so cool. All right. Um, let's stop sharing just for a minute here. And again, guys, I'm kind of a mess. So apologize for that. Um, let's get, I want to show you the original. I did show this once, um, but uh, I didn't Let me restore the chat here. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I, I showed the original once. Um, I will show it again though, because we have a whole new group of people in. Let me get back and look at you guys. Sorry, I've been neglecting you. Um, 
Anne Graham says, I'm going to finish the sketch I did of Joe, by the way. I just got to finish some commissions first. Oh, thanks. You. Thank you, Anne Graham. The one that you did looked so cool. Um, that'll be great to see it finished, though. Um, I really do like your art style, and it works really well, especially with Joanne, I thought. You did a really cool cover. Um, maybe I'll pull that up, too, so everyone gets a chance to see it, especially if you're not on Twitter. You wouldn't have seen it. It was really cool. Um, so I got to breathe. I'm seriously like, I feel like I'm like white knuckle. <laughs> it's been like that all morning. It's crazy. Okay. So the Artful Snacker says, at Sweet Class, I wonder how much funding you'll get during your first EVS stream promoting this. That's a good question. I don't know. Um, I talked to Ethan and I'm, I, the plan is I'm going on his show tomorrow night. So that's, that is set unless something else happens. I will go on his show what i'd love to have happen this would be my dream is to get everything funded so tonight i'm going on to john malin's uh, comic skate presents if i can get the whole thing funded and then go to ethan's show tomorrow it'd just be such a good feeling to be like look ethan <laughs> i i am bringing you a funded project um you know I, I just think that'd be a lot of fun uh 3d robin says congrats on your book launching looks like you're doing well yeah i'm doing very well this is exceeding my expectations it feels so good so thank you everybody uh cams is going good so far yes it is um <laughs> yeah um michael uh streltz he's being immortalized i know he's one that is getting drawn into the book so congratulations for that. There was only five slots available. Um, and he, I think he was like the first one to snag it. So congratulations. That'll be awesome to, uh, to see you in print. That'll be really cool. All right. Uh, Nasser doesn't want to come. He's shy. Oh man. I could send him, I could send him something. Uh, Strawjack, congrats. Thank you, Strawjack. Really appreciate it. This has seriously been, I'm like, my heart is pounding. <laughs> it's so great. All right, let me show you Matthews. And try it this way so you can hear me. This is Matthew Weldon's. This is the original. I've got it in a top loader here. That's why it's a little shiny. And there's nothing like seeing the original. It's so cool. You look up, I want to see if even, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but just the little lines on the jeans, there's like the, the tiniest little details that actually make it look like jeans. It's so cool. And that's why, I mean, it was hard to know what you price this. I see Matthew Weldon's art selling at the auctions and it kind of gives me a little bit of an idea of what you would expect for it. But I thought, you know what? This is the original cover. This is the only original that is available. Um, I think Nacho might have done he might be doing some uh, original with pen and ink, but he's, I mean, he's in Argentina. I don't know that we haven't really talked about it, but I think most of, most of his work is done digitally. So it hasn't been really an option. So this is right now, this is the only digital, this is the only <laughs> tangible physical copy of original art for downcast. So I have that listed and it is a thousand dollars. And that's because if it doesn't sell, I'm going to keep this thing because it's so cool. If it does sell though, obviously that's my first priority is getting this book funded. And honestly, I'm, I want to, I want to be able to fund the next book if I can, um, and make things better. I think for, for customers, especially if I can say this book is just finished, we're going to run the campaign and then ship it. I think that would be awesome. Uh, Eric Weather says campaign is killing it so far. Keep it up. Yeah, keep it up. This is this is all of you, all of you guys, really. Um, I I was telling my wife this morning, I could not have done this. It's so cool that I uh, met this just great group of people online. They all had similar like-minded people interested in comics, uh, interested in freedom of speech, that kind of stuff, and. Uh, uh, so so many good so much good advice from so many people man i feel like i need to do maybe i'll save it but i'm going to i'm going to just write out and do a whole thank you thing uh, there have so many names to list for people that have helped me out um 
<laughs> sweet cast how do you breathe unassisted at that altitude i don't know if you're talking about the fact that i'm in the rocky mountains or that i am just higher as a kite right now <laughs> probably a little bit of both yeah i don't know i'm having a hard time breathing i'll admit so try try and keep it together okay uh pete marquez says uh sweet cast reminds, reminds me of the election right after <laughs> 2016 i have to admit that election watching those results come in were so satisfying it was just <laughs> it was just awesome so i'm i'm sorry guys i'm blown away seriously this campaign it, i haven't even like i haven't even done any promotion i just posted it and sent out the email and right now that's that's what we have so i'm glad that i'm i'm on here doing a live stream this is now we're promoting it <laughs> we'll be doing this all day but it's it's super awesome uh uh, Giga Death comic book says, "Sweet cast, a question: Did you pay your artist up front? Are you waiting for goal fulfillment?" That's a great question. So I paid, uh, I paid Nacho for the a cover and five pages of art, uh, so we'd have everything that we needed to have a good um, launch. He's taking a little break now, so we can do the campaign, and that's where I'm focusing all my efforts on just making sure that this gets into as many people's hands as possible. Once the campaign is over, or at least, I don't, we need to talk about this, but if it gets funded quickly, we'll probably jump into production just to get a, you know, get a head start on everything. Um, because if it comes earlier, that's even better. So once, you know, we'll start going and, um, you know, I'll, I'll pay him accordingly. So I hope that answers your question. Um, Matt Cawson says, sweet cast, congrats, man. Oh, sorry, I scrolled down. Uh, beautiful Matthew Weldon cover, by the way. Yeah, he's amazing. I love that cover. And I don't feel like you're getting justice. Like if you see this thing in person, again, I was showing my brother. I was like, look at this. The detail, just just on the pants alone, just like the, the cross hatching and stuff he does. It's so cool to see a professional, uh, professional's original work up close. It's really cool. Uh, Chris Evans says that looks pretty good, sweet cast. Yeah, thanks. That's all Matthew Weldon. Um, <laughs> 1,010 confirmed. Yeah, you're bidding on it. That's awesome. Um, okay, digital art. Let's see. Uh, Ethan Von Skyver, Dick Knight, and the the Headless Ninja. Go or no go? I. What's Dick Knight and the Headless Ninja? I don't know. <laughs> I feel so out of context. Um, I'll have to look it up. Uh, I'm going to just go with my gut. That sounds pretty cool. Let's, let's say go. Um, Peter Sumetti. Hey, all congrats on the launch. Clint. Thank you, Peter. Peter's one of those people. Like I said, I need to make a huge list of people to thank. And Peter is a big one on that list. Um, just advice. I mean, and the thing is he's been really free and open with advice. You go watch his streams, uh, just on, on Alterna's, uh, YouTube channel go check it out and you watch the videos and that advice is so good priceless advice uh and, and so i'm really glad that he's been really open with that so thank you peter i really appreciate it and again yeah i have so many people to to think as well um let's check in let's see i i did send out a link for people to come in i realize most people are working I'm trying to think um eric weathers let me know i think you you must be doing full-time art i'm assuming i don't know how you would do it otherwise if you had a day job um but if you want to come in and if you're available to let me know maybe i'll just send you a link anyway no pressure um it would be cool to get some people in here but i do real realize we're in the middle of a work day here so that does make things difficult uh let's take a look at the campaign again here let's share the screen And I'm gonna to get to my other browser. Okay, let's refresh this thing. 2,500, wow, thank you everyone. That's 60 backers, insane, 35%. <laughs> so I actually told my wife my goal, what I was hoping in the first 24 hours that we could hit 2,500 in the first 24 hours. And I thought, mm, maybe, maybe I should be more optimistic. Maybe we can hit three thousand in the first day, guys. I we're gonna we're gonna crush that. The first twenty four hours, it's it's totally possible this could get funded in the first twenty four hours. 
Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm going to do my darndest and get the word out there. But this is so great. And this really helps to all the early backers. So thank you. Because if Indiegogo will start helping promote this campaign uh, because they see that it's doing well and that people are, are interested and they're getting it. And so, yeah, this is, it's definitely something that is, is helpful for sure. So thanks everyone. Let me, I'm going to stop sharing just for a minute, just to send out a link here. Ethan, Ethan Von Scriver says, woohoo, sweet cast greenlit Dick Knight and the headless ninja. Uh, when are we going to print? Uh, that's a good question. It's greenlit though. So, you know, let's do this thing. Um, three to Robin. How come you don't have an option for just the Weldon cover B? That's a good question. Uh, again, this comes down to, I don't know that I'm making all the right decisions. I'm trying to, but um, I thought my reasoning was this being a, a fundraiser thing. If you, if you pay $25 um, to help this campaign get funded, I want you to be getting something special. And so that's why I have the, the Weldon cover there for, you know that $25 tier so you get both so that was my reasoning um i can be convinced otherwise for sure i'm still trying to to just play my cards correctly and, and run a good campaign but that, that was my thought process uh matt Cawson says sweet cast i love how exuberant you are the comic skate backers are the best yeah i'm sorry i can't even help it i feel like um i don't know this is like it's like i get um emotional <laughs> You know, I've been working at this for so long. I know a lot of you know exactly um, the feeling, you know. Um, so I don't know. It just feels good. It feels really good, I have to say. So thank you, everyone. Um, yeah, that's great. Uh, Eric Weather says, I'd love to come in, but I got kitty duty heading outside to teach him to ride his new bike. Good luck with everything, Clint. Yep, Eric, that is the most important thing you could be doing right now. So uh, yeah have fun i know that's uh that's uh can be a hard experience <laughs> teaching him how to ride bike at least it was for my son um it was a little difficult although he's a pro so yeah that's great yeah, um i'm also thinking yeah i don't know we don't have to invite anybody in we're fine we've got stuff to talk about it's just fun to share i just feel like i feel like celebrating already i haven't even i need to get my head down to work right <laughs> uh we haven't even hit the goal yet but uh um, Drag Dragon says Eric is teaching a cat how to ride a bike. Um, his his kid, but a cat that would be awesome. Uh, Marvel, he could probably work for Marvel if he did that. He could draw a picture of it, and he would be a cover artist, and that would you know, he'd make make some money there. All right, um, let me just get get some stuff situated. We're we're talking about breaking into comics. That is technically the goal of this session. Uh, of this live stream rather and what i wanted to do and i'm kind of scatterbrained so i didn't leave the the article open how to break into comics i watched a, a video by uh, cb sobolski on how to break into comics and you always hear this this thing that they say that breaking into comics is like breaking out of prison uh once somebody finds a way out it becomes closed so you have to find your own way to break in basically that's that's the thing they like to say um thing is that that might have been true maybe it was true it's not true anymore things have changed quite a bit um so let's share let me, let me get this comics beat how to break into comics and survive once you're there. That's the other thing is staying into comics. And, and first I'd have to say like, what does it mean by breaking into comics? For me, I've never wanted to work for Marvel or DC. I've, I don't know why. I think it'd be kind of fun to write Daredevil. That could be or Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man, but honestly, like it's never been, uh, it's never been a writing goal. It's never been a creative goal for me. My goal was, has always been creative creator owned stuff. And so, you know, I thought for me, Image Comics would be the place that I want to be. Um, let me get my screen shared. So, yeah, that, that's always what I wanted to do uh, for breaking into comics. Let me get the chat because, oh, sorry. Uh, 
Sorry, guys. I totally okay. There we are. There's the chat. I, I'm seriously, I'm a total scatterbrain. <laughs> you guys are going to have to be patient with me because I can't even handle it. This morning when I had that issue with the link, which should be corrected now, by the way, I'll remind everybody if you were on the mailing list and I sent you a link that didn't work the right way, uh, it should be corrected now. So you go into that link and you should be able to to back it and, and see your, your thing. So, okay. Um, Oh, I should also, good point. I need to pitch downcast because I want to get, I have been practicing, believe it or not. I need to pitch it to you guys. You can give me some feedback. Uh, and that way also, if you, you know, if you want to back it, but you haven't, you haven't heard the pitch, I, I'm going to pitch it for you. But also on the campaign page, I actually do sort of a long form pitch. I don't think it's too long. The video is like two and a half minutes long or something. I give a pitch on the campaign video and then I also... Um, I also, uh, sorry, I just read Clinton hasn't doxed, doxed himself yet. Not bad. No, I have doxed myself. <laughs> My name's right on the campaign. Uh, and you know, it's fine with me. I not, not where I live though. So we'll keep that a secret. All right. Um, what was I even saying guys? I'm sorry. The pitch it's in the video so you can watch it. Um, and you can watch it you can see it there you can also read the first five pages right in the campaign and if you want to keep reading then that's probably a good sign that you probably want to be a backer uh, so we're going to talk about breaking into comics and i will do a pitch for the book as well okay let's just do the pitch now how about that because it doesn't take as long the short pitch is downcast is a story about blue collar teens that use the power of gravity to save their father Okay, that's that's the really in a nutshell log line version. I think it sounds pretty good. I got some help from a few people. Uh, Peter Sametti helped me. I also got help from Edwin. Get Edwin to do a pitch video. Yeah, Edwin told me. I showed him my campaign first, and he said your log line at the top sucks. And so I worked at that. I worked with that one, um, and he was really really helpful. So he's another one that is on my list of people to thank because Edwin for sure helped me out. Um, yeah, so that's that's the the small pitch, okay? Here's a, here's a slightly bigger pitch, okay? All right, Downcast takes place in a floating city. And in that city, they have this rare element that can control gravity. It's so rare and so powerful, it's only kept in the Capitol building. And that's what keeps everything floating 30,000 feet in the air. One day, a botched government coup goes down, and our heroes, uh, Joanne and Jax, their brother and sister, they find themselves in the middle of this coup. Um, they get a hold of this... Uh, no, I'm yeah, blanking here. They get a hold of this element that can con control gravity, and then they decide to use its power uh, to sort of blackmail the city into getting their father out of prison. Too long, I know. So, and I also need to practice that more. Um, I'm going to work on it more. I need to get the, I seriously can't even breathe right now. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get it out of my system. I'm going to work on it more. But I did it in the video, and I and I think it's, it's better. So look at it there. I'm going to practice a lot more. I'll do my short one for sure. That one's... Uh, I think nailed down. Okay. So how to break into comics. Let's look at this is on Google. This is the first thing that you come up with resources on how to break into comics and survive once you're there. Okay. So um many times everybody asks this and they ask it in the same way, how to break into comics, especially as a writer. Uh, and I can tell you there you have all, your whole own set of challenges. I'm sure artists have a different kind of set of challenges. It's difficult. It really is. Um, not anymore, though. Things have changed. Just talk to Heather Antos. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you guys see all the, the tweets I, I posted, how she did crowdfunding? Um, yeah. <laughs> so funny. Okay. Um, literary, literary agents who represent graphic novels by Nikki Smith, the comic book writer's uh, guide, comic economics, how to earn a living with comics degree. Wow. 
I don't I don't know if that <laughs> degree is a good idea. I'd rather you just make comics. Um, How do I break in by Jim Zub? I actually have had some good stuff from Jim Zub. He's got a pretty nice blog about it. Um, but I don't I don't think it matters anymore. I'll be honest. So these are all yeah resources for how to break into comics and that kind of stuff. They're general general resources. Uh, pitching. I also feel like the stuff I've read online about pitches aren't exactly correct. When you're pitching, they might be correct for pitching to a publisher, but the way to do it in 2019 isn't not about pitching to a publisher anymore. You're pitching directly to the consumer, and the consumer is deciding. The consumer is, I guess, the gatekeeper, so to speak. So if you can make them happy, if you can make it sound interesting, make it sound good, then they're going to help you out you know that that's a gatekeeper you don't have to impress someone like kelly sue deconic right uh eric larson you don't have to impress them they they're irrelevant it does not matter uh the consumers matter right gail simone too yeah i don't have to impress gail simone has nothing to do i'm not beholden to what they they expect all right so whole bunch of stuff here uh, these are just resources portfolio critique getting noticed let's let's do this one um pitching your first comic surviving is another one so let's do this one pitching your first comic for review let's try that the do's and don'ts of pitching your comic for review i'm assuming this is for a publisher so they said for many independent comic creators self-promotion is easily the most daunting task it, uh, it's it's not easy that's why uh, you spend months or even years to finish a project, and then your new full-time job is convincing people to actually look at your work. It can be a slog, but channeling the enthusiasm and pride you have to uh, for your work into coverage can be rewarding when successful. We have a few suggestions for making the necessary step into cre uh, the creative process a little easier to manage. All right. I will say, I want to make a comment here. Uh, initially when I wanted to break into comics, and I think this is what a lot of people do is you feel like, uh, like the way that it should be, right? Ideally the way that it should be is you should, you should be, um, pitching your, I'm sorry. I just saw 54% funded in the chat and I'm like lost my mind again. Thank you. True comics. That's awesome. I got to refresh that. Um, okay. So yeah, what was I saying? Okay, you'd think that your your main goal would be to work on writing, right? Just crushing the writing. And if you can do that, if you can be the best possible writer that you can be, you're going to get noticed. While that's important, it's not 100% true, unfortunately. And honestly, in an ideal world, that's the way that it should be. It should be completely based off of merit. And if you're a fantastic writer, then you should be writing comic books. That's how it should work. But the reality is people aren't going to find your writing. Uh, you need to have an artist. Nobody is going to read a script, that's for sure. They're not going to read your script and determine if it's good writing or bad writing. Every script looks exactly the same. You can't tell the difference unless you take the time to read it, uh, which is rare. No one's going to read it. Um, but if you can get an artist to do the art, then you have something to show so anyway so it becomes part of the job as a writer and i'm sure an artist too um you're not just looking for work what you're doing is you're looking for people to give your work a, give your book a chance you're looking for people to to check it out um so that that's that's massively important um yeah, so I will I will say that's a that's a big thing there. It's just it's not about writing, though it doesn't hurt, especially if you're an artist. If you are so good that people can't deny how good you are, then you're gonna I think you'll you'll get work. As a writer, it's a little bit harder. You have to do something to get in front of people. Which would be a lot harder if it wasn't for comics gate. I'm being honest here. Uh, because there's a there's a great uh just network here. It's it's awesome. All right. Okay. So wait, do they even accept review requests? Um, it's a good place to start. So th that's the thing is you always have these 
these gates to walk through. Speaking of gatekeeping, uh, so I did a, I did a book. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm getting too distracted. Thirty eight hundred. All right, we're we're looking at that campaign again. Sorry, um, this is. Oh, I didn't want to look at this one. I want to look at this one. This one. There we go. So we went up from 2507. Let's refresh that. 3797. Oh my gosh. 54% funded. Guys, we could seriously, I think it'd be so cool to get to Ethan's show and already be funded. That's totally doable. It's tomorrow night. <laughs> so there's like more than 24 hours away. Uh, we could get funded. That would be so awesome. Thank you so much, everybody. This is so cool. Um, yeah, I'm I'm losing my mind, guys. <laughs> so cool. All right, um, let me look at the chat again. Yeah, so cool. Fifty four percent. We can do this. Yes, comic villain, we can. Uh, it'd be so cool. So, so this is the thing. Uh, let me get to my article again here. Okay, so a lot, a lot of people conventional wisdom has been that you need to go to these gatekeepers and for me it was image comics you're relying on a publisher to to give you the go ahead and then you're hoping that they're going to sell your book the problem is if you think about it comic book publishers in general haven't been very good at selling comics they're doing a really really poor job actually of selling comics um, and that's part of the reason why the industry is as small as it is you can say that technology changed. That's true. Uh, you can say, you know, a lot of things have changed. But what hasn't changed is that publishers aren't, they're just using the same old methods that don't really work. Um, yeah, it, it's just one of those things. So, um, yeah, I see, hey, hey, Peter, I'm just going to throw this out there. If you're interested in coming in so I have someone to talk to, I know that you're you're a busy guy, but let me know. If not, no worries. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, so now, so I've looked on, uh, for example, on Twitter today. I'm not going to try to find it because I know I won't, I won't be able to. Uh, but somebody posted that that they got into comics again because of these YouTube channels, and he had a, a short list of YouTube channels. One of them was Sweetcast. Um, it made me feel really good, you know, to get people back into comics. Because that for me has always been sort of a secondary goal is that I think comics are awesome. I love comics. I want more people to like comics. I keep trying to talk. I love my brother. I spend I spend a lot of time with my brother. And um, he's uh, not into comics. He's into all sorts of other, you know, nerdy stuff. We play magic and, you know, games like that together. Uh, we used to play Warhammer quite a lot. But he didn't um he wasn't into comics never was uh he watched the animated version of planet hulk and he thought it was awesome I'm like if you like that you should read the comic book because those animated versions they do a really good job of staying really loyal to the comic itself so if you liked that you should like the comic really um but it, it's just hard to get him into it and part of that is it's not it's not um, it's not very accessible, I guess. Um, <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm just looking at the chat. Steph, I, I don't know that Steph knows if she's hiding comments or not, so <laughs> apologies for that. She's a moderator. Um, so, yeah. Um, Basically, you don't need loss. Again, I'm losing my train of thought. I need to stop. <laughs> I need to stop looking at the chat. I guess it's part of my problem. Um, yeah, you don't you don't sell comic books the same way because it hasn't really been working. It's actually been losing traction, and so opening up to new markets of people, opening up for new entry points, which I think is nice about a lot of the comic skate books, is you have a new book, people can jump on and. Um, they can, they can check it out. You know, it's so it, it's nice that way. Um, yeah, let's let's go take a look at the campaign again. I'm sorry, I'm just blabbering now. Uh, wrong window. Let's do this one. 
37.97. I know I jumped to that pretty quickly. Uh, that's awesome, guys. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. So th this has been going good. This is how. This is how you break into comics now. You don't need a publisher. Publisher would be nice. Um, when I say break into comics, I think that's different than having like a long-standing career in comics. That's those are two separate things. Breaking into comics is to me having your first piece of published work and having readers read your stuff. Now you could go to small press publishers and that's cool. You could do that. Uh, you can, you can keep submitting to image comics. You could do that. You can, I don't, I have honestly have no idea how Marvel gets people. I've never, again, I haven't really tried <laughs> to get into Marvel. I have no idea. Cause I know they don't su accept submissions or anything like that. So you have to have something published and they're going to have to go and find you anyway. Um, but that, I guess that's how a lot of things work. You have to do it yourself. Now, the nice thing now, uh, having a huge network like this is that you're not really doing it yourself. You're doing it with a whole bunch of other people, right? Um, we have a network of people that are interested in creating comics. We're doing it. Okay. Oh, I got to tell you. So Steph S is my wife. Uh, please don't be mad at her. She didn't mean to uh, to get rid of you, Draken. So sorry about that. <laughs> She's learning how to moderate. Um, by the way, oh, I do see some, yeah, J Sims in the chat. I was going to say, if anybody else wants a wrench, let me know. Um, I'm always, I think I could use a few more moderators in general. All right, cool. Glad, glad we're good, Dragon. I didn't, uh, yeah, don't want you to think you're being censored. All right, Scott, it's telling. Uh, it's telling that Clint has so many creator supporters in here. Keep it up, Clint. You were doing it all right. Thanks, Scott. Um, that that does make me feel good. And it is cool because there are like a lot of you, a lot of you have your own books that you're going to be doing soon. Um, and it's just cool because, again, we're supporting each other in different ways. It's really helpful. Dan Montgomery says, you are talking about the ability of social media to form community, removing the phys uh, physicality and the ability for YouTube to make it personal and form a relationship. You're exactly right. Can you imagine, though, some of com comic book pros having YouTube channels? Um, yeah, Giga, let me get you a wrench. I'm going to add moderator. All right, you're a moderator. Uh, yeah, so there are, um, there are people... <laughs> there are people in comics that just don't work well with people or especially with fans. And can you imagine them having a YouTube channel? It would be a little neat, a little crazy. Um, so I don't know. It really is a difficult thing, but I feel like part of the mindset is if you're thinking about your consumers rather than your publishers, your readers rather than your publishers, there's a different incentive there, right? Being able to talk directly to your readers you're going to make sure that you have books that they want to read. Uh, you're going to make sure, you know, whatever else it is that, that they want. And even in this chat today, I just launched my campaign. This is day one. And I've been getting a lot of feedback on my perks and problems with my mailing list, things like that. Um, which again, that should be corrected. So go, go try it again. But um, it's different. If I'm working with a publisher, if I went the traditional way and I'm working with a publisher or Joe Casada is my boss, he cares less about the readers. He's got a whole other set of agenda items that he wants. And so you're, they're definitely just looking for different things. And part of that is the whisper campaign, um, being friends with the right people in comics. I mean, how, how difficult is that to do? I tried, <laughs> I tried to network a little bit with established comic bros. I have to give Jim Zub credit because he's the only one that would give me the time of day um, in, in mainstream comics. Um, but but uh, aside from that, nobody cared. They don't want me <laughs> to break into comics. Um, the difference here is that a lot of us want to break into comics. I think a lot of us are just here to read comics and you know they like the competition that this is building and the new new kinds of books that you're getting and so that that's awesome too but for sure there are a lot of people that want to break into comics anyway um 
I feel like that is probably one of the worst streams I've ever done. <laughs> so I apologize. It's because this campaign is going and um, I'm blown away. We're over halfway funded already. And like we're only, you know, as we're a few hours into it, we're over halfway funded. And I just can't believe it. Um, I am blown away. Thank you, everybody. So I apologize. Uh, I apologize for the stream. I will be streaming more. Actually, you're probably going to be see seeing me a lot um, online, either on my channel or on somebody else's channel. I've got a lot of streaming to do to promote this book because I want it to crush its goal as quickly as we can. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and be more prepared and I need to, to get control of things. So, uh, so I really appreciate it. Yeah, Cam says, let's get Sweetie funded day one. Guys, that, that's totally possible. I wasn't thinking that it was going to happen. This is like, we're over halfway. <laughs> it's only been like, it's like th under three hours. We're over halfway. This is, it's going to happen. Um, I mean, it totally could happen today, if not by the end of the day tomorrow. I mean, it's going to be done. Uh, this campaign, I'm trying to be really objective about it. There's no reason why we couldn't make $25,000. And that's what a lot of people have said. <laughs> $25 campaign, 20, or sorry, $25,000 campaign is what can come out of Comicsgate. I think that I'm kind of an interesting experiment because I started, so let me tell you, this is the down and dirty. This is how you break into comics, okay? We're going we're gonna to hit 25,000. I I'm sure of it. Um, Jason just backed you. Congrats, Clint. Thank you so much, Jason. I really, really appreciate that. Um, guys, this is awesome. This is how you break into comics. I am a case study. Okay. I'll tell you exactly what I did. I started a YouTube channel back in October. Uh, that's because I saw your boy, Zach. I saw him get a publishing deal and I saw Mark Wade interfere with it. And that got my blood boiling. Why? Because I related, I related to Zach because he was trying to make a comic book. He was trying to get published and the publisher was telling him or somebody in comics was telling him no because he didn't like his point of view. Um, for me, it's always been people don't like that I'm from Utah. It says something about me. You know, they don't, they don't like that I'm in, in a flyover state. They don't like that. I'm conservative, you know, whatever, name your list of things. I'm not friends with the right people. So it made me upset. And so I, I got into comic skate with both feet. I saw the amazing network that was here and I decided I was going to try and publish a comic here. I'd already been trying for years. <laughs> five figures. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Let's get to five figures. Um, yeah. So I started it in October. That wasn't that long ago, guys. October, I started a YouTube channel. I made a lot of mistakes. I tried to make videos on trending topics and I tried to just optimize it for what YouTube likes, which is 10 minute videos on trending topics. Tried to make my content better and better. Tried to get comfortable, tried to get to know people, tried to help out the community. And a lot of that is just promoting people's books, talking to people, making friends. Um, and it's not that, that necessarily those one-on-one -on -one friends are just supporting you. It's that this is the engine that gets things kickstarted. Now on Indiegogo, because of us, because of all of you, this campaign is has uh, it, it's made it. I, I I've got to check. I mean, are we trending? I, I would think so. We're getting close to it anyway. Trending on Indiegogo. Who knows? Uh, but that's a lot of money so far. That's that's really quickly getting things funded. So. Um, yeah, I made, made the videos. I hired an artist. I made sure I picked a, a good artist, the right artist for the project. Uh, that's Ignacio Lazaro. He's a really, really good artist. Love his work. He's a great storyteller. He has all of his mechanics down. So now he, um, you know, I got him on board. We made the campaign. I spend, I spent a little over a thousand dollars in order to prepare this campaign. And I spent a lot of time a lot of time just working on it um just getting to know people making videos and it's been a tremendous amount of work a lot of work <laughs> that's what i did now i launched my campaign i reminded people that it was coming launched the campaign 
Um, and and here we are. This is this is going to get funded. This is not just going to get funded. It's going to it's going to be a, like a profitable venture. This is starting the next book too. This will be you know I I have a great idea for a book for man it, it'll be a blockbuster. I want to really do one that's just insane. It's going to be like a six figures plus kind of campaign. That's what I want to do. Um, Comics Villain says, how did you find your artist? I actually found him on DeviantArt. Uh, for how much uh, people um, bash on DeviantArt, you have to do a lot of digging. That's where I, I got connected with Nacho. So I'm glad I looked there because uh, you know I was able to find all his stuff. He's been very, very professional. It's just up to you to kind of be able to sort through all that kind of stuff. Diversity and Cecil, welcome to the chat. I'm really glad that you're here. It says backing it today. Thank you. We're going to crush this. I really want to make Ethan's head spin tomorrow when I go on his show. I want to make Malin's head spin tonight. This evening, I'm going on his show. It'd be so cool to just be be fully funded. And then it's up, up, and away after that. So thank you, Cecil, for dropping in. Yeah, Aldius on the farm off Orwell Lane says hard work and effort paid off handsomely. You're exactly right. It's been a lot of hard work. Um, I was shocked, shocked at the hard work. Dan Montgomery said just back to international shipping sucks. I, I'm so sorry about that, man. It does suck. It's expensive. Um, I didn't want to lose my house though <laughs> because of shipping. So I, I just tried to be accurate as to what it costs. So uh, Jay Sim says, Sweetcast, how about a drunk stream with Cecil to promote your book? Well, I don't drink, but Cecil does. Um, I think that'd be really fun. I don't know if he's still in the chat, but I, I I need to reach out to him. I'd love to go on to your show, Cecil. That'd be fun or mine, you know, either way. Uh, yours would be a lot of fun, though. I'd love to talk to you. I've uh, been in streams with him before, but haven't actually talked to Cecil. So that would be that would be a lot of fun. I would enjoy that. Yeah, shipping anywhere else. Canada, Canada, it's $18. I know that's expensive. US, it's 6 bucks. And worldwide, it's, it's $25. And that's just that's how much it costs so sorry uh tim lim's bunny says downcast is going to be rad thank you yeah i'm i'm really happy about the story guys um and that's this has been story first really it, we, even with the art like it was all about storytelling so i'm i'm really happy with it i'm really pleased with even just the first five pages uh, as especially as far as the story goes so i think you'll all enjoy it um yeah cecil would be a great interview sweetie and ask all the uncomfortable questions yeah um <laughs> if you guys never caught me on war campaign i i feel like i'm just i don't know i feel like i'm a normal guy but then i realize maybe i'm not so normal i'm very like socially conservative <laughs> so to speak which is fine you know and that's why i love you guys because even though I'm really, you know, socially conservative, I'm still just as welcome as everybody else is. And so that that's been really cool. Uh, in all honesty, it's been really cool. Uh, so if you want to see some cringe, yeah, go watch when I was on war campaign. That was, I, I, I love those guys. They've been really great to me. Uh, but I'm, yeah, I'm kind of a, a dork. Um, yeah, here we go. Doing great. Let me, let me uh, refresh this again. 3941 we are going to break uh 4000 here really soon 56% funded this is so great thank you everybody um <laughs> yeah uh i bet sweetie has to take off time to work to stuff envelopes i won't sweat it i i definitely do guys yeah i'm going to have to take time off work i'm going to have to I'm taking off time work uh, of work today. That's part of, I guess, breaking into comics too, is it's like you have to do all this in addition to a day job. I have three kids and I know a lot of you totally relate to you're working hard. Uh, you want a chance, you know, and um, the current industry doesn't, doesn't do that for you very well. So we've got a new way to do it. And this is proof. I'm not, okay. I have not, I don't have a long career in, in comics. I'm not an amazing artist, but I'm going to be. Did you see that thing I did? I showed you earlier. I'm going to be. OK, 
Okay, I'm not right now amazing artist though. Uh, I don't have a YouTube channel with a hundred thousand plus subscribers. I don't have uh, like my Twitter following. I have like seven hundred and seventy people or followers on Twitter. Guys, this is not this is not out of reach. I mean, this is proof, right? If it can absolutely work, um, and it has it has much less to do my, my YouTube channel. Like I only have I don't even have three thousand subscribers yet. But I, I don't know. This just goes to speak that if you get the right kind of creative team, and if you work your butt off to promote it, it it's totally it's totally possible. Um, this is all totally possible. Uh, Simon Sim Pothier says you became a big voice in comics gate now. Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's weird when I think about it, but, um, I don't have a huge YouTube channel, but I make a lot of videos. I talk a lot. I talk to a lot of people. Um, and that's nice. And I want to help again. This is something like it motivates me. I want to help more people succeed. I want to be promoting people on my channel. Um, I'm not saying that YouTube is for everybody because it's definitely a specific set of skills. The learning curve is steep, but it, it this route works, right? I'm not a professional. Um, we're we're going to get this book funded. We're going to get overfunded and I, I'm not a professional. Um, so there, I'm sure there are other avenues to build the audience. That's the big thing is becoming a voice in the community. And I would be interested to see the first person to do that without having a YouTube channel. Um, if they're using Instagram or whatever they're using, some of their method to get out there and to get people to know them and know their work. It'll be really interesting to see. But this is, uh, to me, guys, like I'm I'm a case study here. And especially if we can get funded, I am going to on to Ethan's show. I know, I know that's been like a big point of... I don't know. People talk about that a lot like that. That makes or breaks everything. Um, but we're going to be funded before I get onto Ethan's show. We're going to get there before. And then and then we'll see what happens. Uh, <laughs> Panboy Lando Soy Child Dong Lover says, wait a minute. War campaign was nice to you. Haha, <laughs> congrats on Downcast. Looking good. Thank you. Yeah, man. I, I honestly like people in general. Everyone's been really cool with me in, in comics. I know there's some infighting and stuff, but I have no enemies other than outside of comics gate. Dan slot doesn't like me very much. I'll say that, but I don't care. It doesn't matter what he thinks. Um, yeah. Thanks for posting the link. See, I've been looking at this. This is how, this is how great at promoting I've been. I haven't even posted the link once in the chat. <laughs> I've just been staring at it and, and oogling as the numbers jump up. Um, this is crazy, man. So crazy. Don't wait until you're funded to go on Ethan's show. Get that exposure as early as possible. It's a snowball effect. You're right. Uh, so I just, uh, today is, uh, I'm pretty sure he said this publicly. Today is Andrew's birthday. So Ethan is not doing live streams today because he's going to be spending the birthday with his wife. You know, makes sense. Uh, so he did say tomorrow he'd have me on. So we have over 24 hours until we get on to Ethan's show. And I think it would just be so cool to be like, hey, here you go. Here's a his already funded campaign. Um, you know, let's see what else your your larger audience um can add to it. So Dan Slot, he's a scaredy cat weirdo. I think he's blocked me now. Um the thing is <laughs> most of these people, man, I actually and I'm thinking of a lot of stuff I want to say. Um most of the people in comics, the reason why uh, your boy Zach made a, such, such a big impact is because all of those people are Googling their own names. <laughs> They're looking for what's being said about them on a daily basis. And so when there's a video done by some dude on the internet, you know, recording, you know, it's basically like a crotch shot with a comic book on his lap. Uh, when, when they see that, they're really offended by it. They notice. Right? Could you imagine Tom Cruise googling his own name and <laughs> trying to respond to things? But they do it in comics for some reason. It's because there's there's just some weird people that work there. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> it's crazy. So yeah, he's not a fun, he's not a fan of mine because I did make a video about him. But that was, in all fairness, it was after he was uh, 
nasty on Twitter. So I made a video. Dan Montgomery says, uh, sweet cast engagement beats the snot out of a big subscriber count. You form relationships and people are willing to support you. Live streams are the best. I absolutely agree with that. Live streams might not be good for views. I think it's good to balance it. You do live streams and you do regular videos just to grow your audience. But you're right. Live streams is how you get to know people. It's how you talk to people. And that means everything. Jay Sims says, be ready for the swarm on Twitter, by the way, your Comicsgate prodigal son. Yep. Well, I don't know. It, nothing makes me happier than for them to be upset because they said they're the, I mean, these are the one, these are the people saying that you have to be uh, anything Van Skyver. You have to be a Billy Tucci. You have to be, you know, you have to be somebody with some huge name already, some recognizable name in comics. And that's why they're making money here. Um, this is, I am somebody just breaking into comics. That's what this is. Yeah, I have some books published, but this is all just small, small potatoes, guys. And it's not comics. Um, I've been working really hard at the craft of writing. I'm pretty confident in my writing. Um, I've been learning the whole YouTube game. This makes this makes them upset. I don't know why. You'd think they they would they would be happy, but yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited to get on Twitter. Maybe SJW Spider Man will give me a shout out and, and get me some uh, more backers. Uh, let's see. The Ghastly Gamer says, Oh, sorry. Scroll down. There we go. Ethan and others like him are more hyperbolic when attacks, uh, which attracts more people. But I appreciate your more centered approach. Yeah, I'm just being myself. Uh, I've heard like a lot of people will put on, and you know, let's be honest, like, like Ethan does a little bit of this persona you know, for the online environment because it's entertaining. Um, while I might not be as entertaining, I I just can't, th what you see is what you get. This is just me. So for better or for worse, um, that, yeah, that's what you get. Time Code Mechanics says, wow, congrats. Thank you, Time Code Mechanics. I appreciate that. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's it's been working. Jason, and here comes Sweetcast. Yep. Crazy, crazy man. The, and none of this is a, a none of this is a surprise. It's not or it's not a secret, I should say. Um it's doable. It's duplicatable. I've been at this since October. <laughs> That's it. Since October. Um Yeah, he's already got a nickname. SJW's call me sweetie. You can call me sweetie too. I just think it's hilarious when on Twitter they'll come at me. <laughs> and they call me sweetie thinking they're being condescending but i actually i i quite like it it's satisfying um let's refresh this thing again let's see did we did we break 4k nope not yet we're we're uh really close though man it's uh it's not gonna take much um yeah this is awesome um something else i wanted to say um uh I, I think like yeah so the the big argument like i heard a lot of people I made a video about this i think it was my video yesterday why why are there so many failed campaigns in comics gate if i say hey this is what you need to do and just duplicate this it'll work um it you have to you can duplicate it but you have to duplicate it your way if that makes sense now if, imagine this okay imagine if I started making videos exactly how Zach does, your boy Zach, if I started making and I tried to copy his personality and I tried to copy the exact videos he made, all that kind of stuff, I guarantee you I would not be as successful. People can smell it. <laughs> you know, they can see it coming. It's it's not a surprise to people. Okay, on the other hand, um, if you find your niche you find what works for you what you can do well where you can feel um confident or whatever you got to do what works for you then um then you can <laughs> no too long-winded um yeah that's funny yeah um you can find what works for you but basically essentially you need to 
get with people. You got to be able to communicate with people. And however you do that, YouTube has been great. People get to know you. It's hard to hide. It's hard to hide behind a camera. Um, even just your voice. You know, you're gonna you're gonna say stupid things, put your foot in your mouth, all that kind of stuff. Um, and another thing is in your comment section, if you're doing a YouTube channel or if you're trying to build it up on Twitter or wherever, you need to read the comments. I know they they always tell you like for big channels, like don't read the comments. That's wrong. Because the goal here is not to build a huge channel. The goal here is to engage with people, as many people as you can. And so I try to read every single comment. I fail at that many times just because sometimes there's a lot of comments to read and I've got a lot of stuff to do. Um, but I really make effort to, and every time I read them, I do the little love it button, unless you say something really that I can't love, you know, cause they'll, they'll take screenshots. Um, I, but I try to read everything, um, at least for like the most recent video. Um, you got to do that. People don't, aren't doing that. And I'll tell you that's a, that makes a big difference. The Artful Snacker says, I'm very happy I backed this. My brother is big into steampunk, so I'll be gifting one to him too. Thank you so much, Artful Snacker. Uh, I, I think it, it's it's good. Yeah, I think I think it's going to be good, um, especially if you read those first five pages there. I think that's a, a nice little teaser to get you into it. Yeah, right, Kitty? Ah, yes, communication is important. This is another reason why I want to do, I was thinking, I want to do Inktober. Because if I'm going to sort of treat myself like a case study, um, I have the ability to just obsess over things, I guess, which is the only reason I was able to keep keep making videos every freaking day. Um, every time every time I do that, uh, I don't know. It, I just am driven to do it. So anyway, so I want to do Inktober and, and get better at drawing and just kind of show people if you do this every day, this is what you can achieve. I, I'd love someday to just draw my own book. That'd be awesome. I don't think I can do that with a day job, though, at the same time. That'd be really hard, <laughs> along with YouTube. Uh, Tim Lim's Bunny says, when Clint hearts my comments, I know it's because he truly loves me. Uh, might sound cheesy, but it's true, man. It's true. Uh, what? It's true. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not... Uh, I don't know. Like th seriously, this look at this. We're 56% funded. I didn't do this. I, I put a product out. You guys did this. <laughs> get better at drawing. How about get better at writing? Wink. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, I, I will tell you with writing, I've been I've been working hard on it. And it's one of those things like you you gotta use it or you lose it, that's for sure. But they'll say um, you have to get a million words under your belt first to be proficient at writing. It doesn't mean you're a great writer. It means you're proficient. I will tell you, I have more than a million words under my belt of creative writing. So I've been working on it for sure. But I thought, man, wouldn't that be cool to just draw my own book? You know, I, I'm not, I, I won't do it unless it looks really good, but you know, but guys, if we get this, if this campaign crushes it, I want to do another downcast, um, but I want to do another series. And I told my wife about the story. And I know that this doesn't mean anything to any of you. She really liked the idea. She, if she doesn't like ideas, she'll tell me. <laughs> She's probably watching right now. She'll tell me if she doesn't like it. This next idea is is really awesome. Like, and so, man, I want to hire a blockbuster artist to do the next one, and this is going to help me to be able to do that. <laughs> Let's see. A million words, no problem. Bathering in chat, no problem. Oh, great. <laughs> Creative, no then. Yeah, creative writing. Yep. Getting feedback too and correcting it is, yeah, that's important. Let's see. Dave T said, I'm just going to read this. I was lucky breaking in. I just made some art and engaged with no expectations. Professor Geek saw something I drew and he reached out to me from Tells Me on the Stack. I did not realize, Dave T Geek, that that was your artwork. Awesome, man. Yeah, if you do art, just posting art, it'll get you noticed. Um, you, you just keep posting it. I, I, I'm envious of artists. That's why I'm like, I want to I want to start doing it. But it, it is a good way to engage with people. Doing fan art, I can't tell you like when Angram for I mean Angram has already been on my radar, but um when when people have done fan art, Angram is one. Um 
it just, it makes you feel good, you know? <laughs> and then you notice that person forever. You feel like it feels like they've done something for you. Uh, and they, you know, they have really doing fan art. So it, it just feels good. Um, Jay Sim says, I retweeted the link for the campaign. I want you funded today. Thank you, Jay Sim. Yeah, guys, there's no reason. There's absolutely no reason why we can't get funded today. Eric Weather says, my wife is the same way. She'll even knock me when I do a bad drawing. <laughs> yeah, you could do better. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, she'll just tell me. She'll read, like, she'll read the scripts and she's like, eh, why did you do this? You know, and I know that I have to change things. Uh, I also have other people read it <clears throat> and I have, I have like so many people to thank. Seriously, I need to make a list and do this sometime, but I've had um, a lady named Leisha. She was, uh, she's a, a writer and she was um, a, kind of a mentor to me in creative writing. She would read all my garbage writing, like the whole, the cause, my first novel, which was not great. She read that whole thing like four times every draft giving me feedback all the way through <laughs> that's exactly what i needed she read all of my book all for owen uh again like i wrote seven drafts of that book and uh yeah that, that kind of stuff really really helps uh dan Ga montgomery says sweet cast are going to ask zach to roast your book yeah i so i emailed zach and he actually responded to me <laughs> So it was really cool. Uh, just briefly, but I, I did. I talked with Zach. It was my first time, um, and I, I tried to tell him he's another one. If he didn't, I know like the whole Mark Wade thing was miserable for him. It is miserable for him. But if if uh, Zach hadn't been willing to do that and fight that fight, I wouldn't have found this. I would not have found Comicsgate. So I, I do owe Zach for that. Um, I told him, and I think he's not really into touchy feely. I was trying not to be too, you know gay about it but he, he was um yeah he was just like cool man <laughs> anyway so yeah i'd love him to roast my book um hey hit refresh oh let's do that again hold on let me, let me read these real quick we'll make it dramatic anagram says uh sweet cast the fan art thing is true my most liked shared tweets is my coloring of john malin's alita anagram you crushed those colors um I like I'm yeah, you did a really good job on those colors. And this is actually something I was thinking we need more colorists um in Comicsgate because they're all busy working. <laughs> That's why I just had to look on DeviantArt to find uh Derek Dow. Um yeah, you you should be getting paid and coloring a book. I will say that. You're a very good colorist. So keep it up. Uh J Sim 4K, congrats. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna refresh this. Dave T Geek says, well. Uh, we'll have to have a Mountain West gathering uh, with you, Utards. <laughs> yeah, Pencil for Life, you, Slick Jimmy, etc. I'm not in Utah, but I'm pretty close. That would be so fun. Um, something else that's my goal. Um, I want to go to Salt Lake City Comic Con. It's close, you know. I want to go there and have a table and meet as many people as I can. You know, whoever's in the, in the area. That would be awesome. Okay, let's uh, let's re let's refresh this. Guys, <laughs> 4,100. So cool. Thank you, everybody. We're 58% funded <laughs> on day one. Uh, this is just this is just you guys, too. This is the mailing list. This is the YouTube channel and Twitter, I guess. I, I haven't even looked at Twitter since I was answering some questions and problems that came up. This is this is what uh, has happened. 4,100. <laughs> I told my wife if we hit if we hit 3000 in the first 24 hours i'm going to be really excited this is like i can't even tell you this is insane <laughs> so cool thank you everybody 12 claimed first one eight claimed second one uh 11 claimed out of this uh, limited print one very cool uh five out of 50 claimed i'm glad i i'm glad i did this collector's bundle i thought that would appeal to people uh, drawn in the book is sold out sold out somebody bought the cover holy crap thank you <laughs> that explains like this huge jump i'm like wow someone bought the original cover that is so great wow <laughs> thanks guys this is awesome so cool 
I'm going to have to add more tiers. I'm going to have to add more higher tiers so there's stuff to buy because I'm just selling out. That's so cool. Man, <laughs> that's so great. I I'm going to come up with something. Uh, let me know, I guess. <laughs> Send me an email or in the chat or something. Like I want to know what other tiers you might want to see. Um, some things I can't do, I guess, but that's so great. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Eric Weathers, you wanted to hit three quick. K, well, I'm sorry to say you hit 4.1K. Nobody's perfect. You're right. Um, <laughs> cover B tier, please, 3D Robin. Okay. Um, let me think how I can make that work. Okay. Um, yeah, that, that's been something people have mentioned. Okay, you followed the roadmap and did it right. That's right. None of this is a secret, guys. It's not. None of this is. In fact, like I'll tell you, I've had it throughout streams. I've told you everything. Um, I've tried to do it in this stream. I did a terrible job of explaining it. But um, yeah, I can. Uh, I can for sure. Um, I'm, I don't know. I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> Yeah, I can I can for sure um, see that this is the roadmap. You know, you've you've already seen it. You don't need Marvel or DC. Uh, you don't need a lot of those the, the publishers, the gatekeepers. Um, this is so cool, really. Fifty eight percent funded. Where what I I launched this I think three hours ago now ish, three hours. So great. Yeah, trash fire. <laughs> Everyone like the stream. Sh share the stream. Share Indiegogo, the Indiegogo link. Yep, that's uh, that helps for sure. I don't even know how many people we have in chat. <laughs> Maybe I'll stop sharing for a minute. Um, yeah, let me open up my chat. Let's open up all the regular stuff. There we go. Now things look normal. Do I look like... <laughs> throttled that's how i feel i feel throttled right now uh so cool um 66 people watching thank you everybody i i'm i'm sure <laughs> that most of you are at work right now uh you know some of you are not some of you it's it's the evening late afternoon morning i mean this is really worldwide <laughs> it's so crazy um <laughs> master yonifu everyone's like yeah, I've been showing my face for a little while. So I think it's because it's the time of day. You might not be catching me on live streams. Um, so everybody says my voice, I sound like a like 19 year old. No, <laughs> I am a slightly overweight, hairy, uh, balding guy with apparently a, a younger sounding voice. So I'm going to work with what I have. <laughs> uh, it's already tomorrow here in Australia. Dan Montgomery. Wow. Hmm. That's true. Yeah. It's crazy. So when I'm saying when I'm saying the date, April 2nd, it's really throwing everyone off. <laughs> uh Peter Samedi says, I'm really happy for you, bud. You're crushing it. Keep it up. Thank you, Peter. Really appreciate that. Uh that uh that makes me feel good. It's it's really good. Especially with there's so many people that have done it, like Peter, seasoned professionals. Uh so it feels good to even just have just be approaching just a little bit of that um you know this is a start in comics really like this is my start in comics i can have a first book it's not just going to be a little like eight page story this is actually like a nice at least 48 page story at least and i know we're going to crush those stretch goals so we're talking like 52 pages of story um yeah all the works it's going to be awesome the Gassy Gamer says, Sweet Cast, I don't know if you answered this, but is the secret perk available until it is filled or just today regardless? Uh, it's going to be available for the time being. I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it run. At some point, because there are prints involved and the prints are limited, uh, if people stop buying the secret perk, I didn't know what to expect. So I limited it to 95 so that I could have some of the prints spread around. Um, if the prints get ordered if if they're like sold out everywhere and people aren't buying them in the secret perks then i might take some from the secret perks and move them out so that uh, other people have more opportunities to get them so if that answers your question I, it's going to be there for at least a week 
and I need to check how many of the secret perks have been purchased. I know that they've been selling pretty well. So yeah, <laughs> Chewy Pretzel number 16 here. Thank you for backing. Um, yeah, Peter's going to be doing a stream in an hour or so. Awesome. I'll, I'll have to watch that. Well, it'll be just, I'll be distracted, I'm sure. All right, guys, do you have any questions for me about the campaign or anything else? I'm going to probably make a few adjustments uh, based off of your feedback. And yeah, so let me know. <laughs> let me know what you if you have any questions. Um, what I'll probably do is stop streaming and I might stream again later. Honestly, what it comes down to is I'm here to stream. Like that's I've taken the day off, but I want to make sure I have interesting stuff to talk with you all about. Um, it would help. It would really help if I had somebody to talk to, <laughs> but everybody's like working. So yeah, um, we, we'll see how it goes, I guess. Uh, Giga Death comic book says, congrats, sweet cast, job well done. Thank you so much. Again, like I have to thank all of you. <laughs> Jay Sim, sweet cast, how does it feel to be a big shot? I mean, I'm a, <laughs> I'm not a big shot yet. What, at what point do you have to be a big shot? I don't know. Um, but passing, getting funded in day one would be outstanding. <laughs> That'd be so cool. And then I think we can hit 25K. If we hit 25K, the next book, I'm telling you guys, it's blockbuster. I'm, yeah, we're going to make it huge. That'll be great. Um, give us more tiers. We want to give you more money. Yeah, now I got to come up with big tiers all of a sudden. I didn't think they would go that quickly. Goodness. <laughs> Now I need to think of some big tiers. I'm curious, is this lame? <laughs> if I post this, guys, is that, I don't, you know, it's just me, but is that gonna sell? I don't know. Um, I need to think of some bigger tiers. Uh, I, I think I might need to think of some smaller tiers too, but um, we're just burning through artwork right now. So I don't know. Um, if you have questions really specific to the campaign, my email address, maybe I'll put it here in the chat. Peter Sumetti says, sweet cast, post your art. I, I might have to. I don't even know how much to even post it for. <laughs> You're not sweet cast. That's the face of John Malin or Cecil without the mask. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is all a joke. Still have, this, still have the same voice though, I guess, you know. Um, so funny. Okay, post the art. Maybe maybe I'll post this page, guys. I'll sign it to you and post it because that's original uh, Clint Stoker art. <laughs> Surprise, that's yeah, that's my name. Okay, I'll post it. I don't know how much to post it for. I have no idea, but I'll do it because why not? Well, why not? We'll post it. Maybe I'll put. I'll, I'll add some. Should I add goodies with it or should I just sell it by itself? Because some of you may have already backed other tiers. Maybe another exclusive cover. Hmm. Man. That's a, uh, I don't know. It's a good question. The problem is it's like, I need to get a cover. I'd have to get a cover artist like now <laughs> and have all that worked out. Usually it's not that fast of a process. Um, I don't know. Let me think about that. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll post some more stuff. Okay. So if you have questions about the campaign, my email address is sweetcast and at gmail.com. Uh, I posted it there, sweetcastclint at gmail.com. You can email me there directly. You can send me a, a DM on Twitter if you can <laughs> with a cover by Kanan. Oh man, I wish. I don't know if Kanan, the problem is it's not always a matter of just money, peppermints. Guys, I'm going to add stickers. I'm going to add bookmarks, I think. Like these are all stretch goals. But yeah, throw in, throw in peppermints, that'd be awesome. Um, yeah, getting getting artists is not always about money and money. It's not always about that. It's about availability and it's about the project. Um, I'm probably going to be drawing a little bit more attention now, <laughs> which is nice. Once we get this thing funded, that's great. Um, but yeah, I know Kanan White is a very, he's a really busy guy. So, and I've reached out to several Comicsgate pros about different kind of art things. Um, so, yeah, let me let me think about that, and I'll see 
see what we can do. Well, I, I agree. We're going to have to add some stuff. Simon Sim, check me up. All right. Oh, oh, are you an artist? Is that what you're saying? Check me up. Okay. Um, yeah, let me look around. Let me, let me put my head together with my wife and, uh, we'll figure it out. That's so great. Thank you everybody for backing it. I'm going to, I'm going to post this original. It is, it's like 17 by 11. It's like full size comic page, you know? Um, yeah, Eric says, I know someone who may be interested. Thanks, Eric. That's a, that's a good point. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to get this figured out. Let me, let me put my head together with my wife and figure out what we can do. So very cool thanks guys i'm gonna cut the stream off and i'll i'm gonna stream again too let me i just gotta get content ready so i'm not just boring you and rambling <laughs> okay thanks everybody uh you're awesome i can't thank you enough <laughs> this is this is great i will see you next time